Hey guys, despite all the reviews I've been uploading lately, I haven't had any Lexus in a while. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the all new 2015 Lexus RX350. Alright, so as claimed by Lexus, you'll never lose your edge in the 2015 RX350. Pairing the capability of the available all-wheel drive and a 3.5 liter V6 with a luxurious interior and convenient technologies. The RX350 is a crossover design to help you elevate your everyday. With 270 horsepower, this RX350 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7.7 .7 seconds. The driver inspired design features steering wheel mounted controls, an available remote touch device, and an elevated display screen for more convenient viewing. And with split rear seats that fold effortlessly and vast cargo space, the RX350 is ready for almost anyone and anything. Alright, so here's the remote for the car. On the remote, we got the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. Let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. The RX350 does come with smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the remote in your pocket or purse and stand right next to the door. And in order to open the door, all you have to do is put your hand behind the handle and pull on the handle, and it'll unlock at ease. And to lock the door, simply touch right here where the dention is and it will lock the door and immediately after that side view mirror will automatically fold and when you unlock it side view mirror unfold immediately alright here's a quick view of the interior interior is all leather looks very nice and clean alright let me show you a quick view of the back seat also here it is look very luxurious Alright, let's go ahead now and jump into the driver's seat. And we're in the driver's seat. To turn on the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake just like that and press the start button. And the engine is on. Let's go ahead and give it a few revs and let you guys listen to the exhaust. Now for a closer look under the hood, under the 2015 RX350 hood we have a 3.5 liter with 270 horsepower 4 cam 24 valve V6 engine with variable valve timing. It is a 6 speed automatic transmission with snow mode built in and the time it takes to accelerate from 0 to 60 again is 7.7 .7 seconds. Fuel economy wise the 2015 RX350 gets 18 miles per gallon in the city. 25 miles per gallon on the highway and when combined it gets 21 miles per gallon and lastly we can't forget its top speed its top speed on the track is 112 miles per hour and right here I like to show you how to remove the cap to see the battery simply lift it up same goes right here to replace the fluid alright and we're back inside Let's see, steering wheel is composed with wood and leather alternating as you can see right here. Actually feels very comfortable. In the middle we have the Lexus logo. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we have on the left side here. Over here we have the volume up down with the different audio mode and the channel control. Move to the right we have the telephone answering option and voice command. And we also have here several options let's see let's go ahead and press this and see what happened alright and when you press that button it gives you the option to turn the parking assist on or off and you can use this arrow up down to turn the parking assist on and off as you can see right there these arrows can also be used to display let's see the average mile per gallon you get the current mile per gallon you get eco off or on pretty simple and behind the steering wheel we have a windshield wiper that's the intensity control or you can leave it on auto 
and on the end knob here you can twist it to control the windshield wiper on the rear you can leave it on on or intermittent and twist it all the way down or up to release the rear windshield washer for the front simply pull it towards you down here we have the cruise control press the button on the end to turn the cruise control on when you turn it on you'll see a clock right here icon which means the cruise control is on after that you can simply press down to set same goes for acceleration or deceleration push it up or down over to our left side behind the steering wheel here we have the headlamps control you can leave it on auto or turn it on and here's the fog light control you can also use this as a left and right turn signal push it up for right and down for left and pull it towards you to turn on the high beam all right and right below here we have a small knob for you to control the steering wheel placement you can move the steering wheel up down towards you or away from you and let's see what we have on over here all right right here we have a single cup holder for the driver looks very nice and right here we have the odometer trip button as you can see on the bottom there the odometer changes to trip A, B or the main odometer next to it we have the odometer dimmer control the gas release button and the trunk release button above our head we have the driver sun visor with a small mirror which when you open the lights automatically turn on also with a credit card holder Now for a closer look at the GPS and audio display screen. As you can see, screen is split into half. One with the GPS and the other side is display other things such as audio. Alright, we have now the emergency button right there. CD player. Press it once to turn it on. And let's see, let you hear the audio. Alright, and one press again to turn it off. Radio tuner there. Down here we have the dual AC heat climate control for both passenger and driver. And here for a closer look at the gear shift box, just push your foot down on the brake, put the car into reverse. When you put the car into reverse, the rear view camera automatically display on the screen here, which is a very nice safety feature. Another very nice safety feature I also like to mention here is at the same time when you put the car into reverse, the side view mirrors tilt down slightly to give you a better view of the rear. Let me go ahead and show it to you. There you go. All right, and to put the car into drive, push it down all the way to D and push it over to the left to put it into standard manual driving mode. And you can push it up or down to change gears. Here's what you use to control the GPS and audio screen. This knob here is multi-directional. You can move it up, down, right, left, and push down to select. Or you can use this button right here. Okay, right here we also have wood trims which looks very nice and blends in very well with the car. And under here we have two cup holder. And right here you can even remove this piece for better cleaning or if you ever get any kind of spillage. Very nice. Down here, we have the traction control. Press it once to turn it on. Press it another time to turn it off. Spot for you to put some change and coins there. Driver and passenger heat and AC control. All right. Blue for cool and red for hot. Now let's take a closer look at the middle armrest compartment. To open it, all you have to do is lift up here, right here. Inside actually has a lot of room and space. And there we have an USB in and auxiliary input. And way below we have a 12 volt AC outlet charger. And let's see what else we have here. I believe we can move this piece out of the way. Let's go ahead and move it out. Take it out. All right. And way below there, you can lift this piece up and it also have more space for storage down there which is very spacious and roomy in there right, plenty of space 
let's put this piece back and we also have a slot for you to put your pin which is very convenient also glove box compartment pretty decent size All right. right here we have the trunk lock button if you press this button you'll not be able to open the trunk from inside rear view mirror on the rear view mirror we have built in universal garage door opener you can simply input your garage door code in here and use these buttons to control your garage door here they are moving up we have the different lights control along with the roadside assistant button SOS just press that you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant and also we also have the sunroof control on both the right and the left here's the sunroof let's go ahead and open it alright to the right we can tilt the sunroof let's go ahead and show it to you there's the tilt function and to open it fully let's see well you have to close the hood first okay did I just say hood I meant sunroof alright after you close the tilt uh, function you'll be able to open the sunroof fully here it is and I'll go ahead and go outside Here's what it looks like from the outside. Looks pretty cool and sporty. We also have uh, two rails, one on the left and one on the right, which you can also uh, connect and hook cargoes on top of the car. And the shark tail also looks very nice. The shark tail is, uh, enables the car to catch radio frequency and HM HD radio also. Very nice. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door here. On the driver's side door we have up to three memory for re easy readjustment of the driver's seat. And down here we have four power window control with the window lock button, lock and unlock button with side view mirror control. And we also have a button for you to control the folding of the side view mirror. Alright, simply press it once to fold and press it again to unfold alright and down here we have a side compartment Lexus door seal which is located on both the driver and passenger side and to open the hood all you have to do is lift this out and for the driver's seat we have 10 different multiple adjustment we can move the seat forward backward up down we can tilt the back and we can also bolt out the back all right let's take a closer look at the seat belt here all right for the seat belt you can simply press this down and you can move it up or down to your comfortability seat belt is very smooth and nice Let's go ahead and go into the back seat and take a closer look in the back. All right. On the door, all we have is a uh, power window control with a spot for you to put some stuff there. And a cup holder. Here's a quick view of the back passenger seat. Let's go ahead and jump in. Again, I'm five feet seven, and I have plenty of leg space for myself. Feel very comfortable back here. Here's a quick view of the front from sitting in the back. Let me focus it for you guys. Look very nice and clean. Down here we have a two AC and heat vent. let's see the middle compartment pull this down and we have two additional cup holders we also have more storage room here it rests very nicely in there Thanks. 
lights control let's see back passenger seat belts also very smooth and on both the right and the left we have a bore handle with a spot for you to hang your clothes everything you see over there you see on the left also here's a closer view of the sunroof on the back looks very nice now for a closer look at the front on the front as you can see in the middle we have the Lexus logo with the iconic grill that surrounds the Lexus logo at the bottom left and right we have the fog lights front bumper also have built-in parking assist which notify the driver in knowing when the car is too close to hitting something which is a very nice safety feature and as you can see we have LED lighting strips on both the right and the left headlamps which looks very nice now for a closer look at the side side view mirror have built in integrated LED turn signals and on this specific model right here we're going to take a closer look at the wheels now. This specific model has 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Also has built in tire pressure monitoring system with anti lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and braking assist. Now for a closer look at the rear. As you can see in the middle we have the Lexus logo and on the bottom right corner we have the RX350 logo back bumper also have built in parking assist which also notify the driver in when the car is getting too close to hitting something which is again a very nice safety feature we also have built in rear view camera back here which is located right under the Lexus logo let me move over to the side and show you the spoiler as you can see the spoiler is located on the top with built in brake lights looks very nice also and here's the rear view camera and way at the bottom here we have two hooks for you to hook anything you need to hook on one on the right and one on the left All right now let's go ahead and open the trunk and see what's in there here it is alright here we have the trunk nets which can be easily removed alright and we also have a whole bunch of trunk mats in there and we have a trunk cover here which you can simply pull out and after you pull it out you can simply lock it in place by inserting it into the slot on the right and the left here and you can take the whole thing off by pushing it back like that same thing goes for the left side alright here's what you use to unfold the seat simply pull that out and the seat will fold down same goes for the right let's see let's go ahead and pull this and as you can see the seats fold right down this gives you plenty of space for cargoes and we also have hooks on both the right and the left first aid kit and if we lift this up we have more storage space very nice All right. and to close the trunk you can close it manually or you can simply press this button right here to close the trunk Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, if you have any questions, comments or requests for core reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future core reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give our videos a thumbs up. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.